the South Carolina Gamecocks might be the most surprising team in all of college basketball. After this team was picked to finish last in the SEC conference in the preseason, they proved all of the doubters wrong to this point. They're 20 and 3 on the year and 8 and 2 in SEC conference play. They're tied for first place with the big guns, Alabama and Auburn atop the SEC right now, and they're on a red hot win streak as of this video being filmed. They've won six in a row, including games against top 10 ranked Tennessee and Kentucky. South Carolina is a five seed in the most recent ESPN bracketology, and many South Carolina fans feel that this team is even better than their 2017 team that made it all the way to the Final Four. Now, how good is this team, and how did second-year head coach Lamont Paris turn this thing around so fast in Columbia? Can this team really win the SEC this year, and how dangerous will they be in the big dance? All of those questions will be answered right here on College Hoops Tonight. Now, there's no doubt that South Carolina has been on an absolute roll since the calendar flipped over to 2024. They've won six in a row, and they're tied atop the SEC as of this video being filmed with an 8-2 and two record tied with Alabama and Auburn. Now, how did this team have such an incredible turnaround from year one to year two in the Lamont Paris era? They were 11-21 and 21 last year. Now they've almost won double the amount of games. And really, to answer that question, we need to take a look at the history and the coaching pedigree of Lamont Paris. Now, for Lamont Paris, this is his second year as the head coach at South Carolina. Paris originally got his start at the Division I level as a head coach with the Chattanooga Mocs back in 2018. Now, he spent five years at Chattanooga, and he built the Mocs into a winner eventually, making the NCAA tournament in his final year at Chattanooga in 2022 after winning the Southern Conference. His team improved overall in his five years while he was at Chattanooga, but specifically, his impact was felt on the defensive end. Chattanooga was 304th in the nation in defensive efficiency when he got there in 2018. He eventually improved that number to 76th in the nation in 2022 on the defensive end, which is certainly impressive for a smaller mid-major school. And his defensive pedigree has already kicked in in year two in Columbia. The Gamecocks were 226th in the nation in defensive efficiency last year, which is atrocious for a Power 5 school. Now, as of this video being filmed, they're 40th in the nation in defensive efficiency. They hang their hat on the defensive end. And the Lamont Paris defensive model at South Carolina is really effective in this age of college basketball. The Gamecocks do a terrific job of pressuring the perimeter and running good shooters and good three-point shooting teams off of the three-point line, while also making any shot inside of the arc pretty tough to make for their opponents. They rank top 30 in the nation defensively at limiting teams to taking threes and in two-point defense. Now, making your opponents make tough twos, night in, night out, is a great way to be consistent on the defensive end. Now, Lamont Paris and his prowess as a defensive head coach is not the sole reason, obviously, for this team having such a step up in year two. Paris also completely rebuilt this roster from a team that was 11 and 21 a year ago and really only had one very talented player in G.G. Jackson in which South Carolina fans would argue his impact wasn't necessarily always positive on the floor. Paris added a couple of really really solid players in the transfer portal and one freshman who's immediately made his impact felt. 
in the transfer portal. Paris added a couple of players that really, really fit the mold that this team has taken on this year in 2023 and 2024. You got to start with BJ Mack. The big man on the inside has brought an interior presence for this Gamecock squad. The transfer from Wofford has been one of the most consistent threats for the Gamecocks all year on both ends of the floor. Then the two perimeter players, Taylon Cooper from Minnesota, who's an excellent ball handler, passer, and three-point shooter, has really fit well into this offense. Then you throw in Miles Studi as well from Vanderbilt, who's a terrific off-ball shooter and scorer and can defend as well. All three of these guys very, very experienced and have stepped right into this Gamecocks lineup and have really, really contributed in a positive way. And then throw in the athletic freshman Colin Murray Boyles into the squad. You mix that all up and you throw in a junior year breakout from leading scorer Michi Johnson and you've got a pretty successful offense. Now you throw all of that together and this is a team that can shoot the three ball and certainly likes to take a lot of threes on the offensive end. They're also a team that moves the ball really, really well. They rank in the upper echelon of college basketball in terms of assist rate on the offensive end. And then defensively, there is a ton of length and size on this team, which makes them really, really tough on the defensive end of the floor. Now again, the Gamecocks are 8-2 and two in the SEC and 20-3 and three overall. They're tied for first place with Alabama and Auburn as of this video being filmed with eight games to go in SEC regular season play. Now, they don't have the toughest of schedules remaining down the stretch in SEC play. Again, it's all relative because this is one of the more talented and deeper leagues in all of college basketball. Now, do I personally think that the Gamecocks are gonna bring home their first regular season conference title since 1997. I wouldn't necessarily bet on it, but at the same time, I wouldn't rule it out. As we take a look at who's remaining on the Gamecock schedule here with eight games to go. The reason why I'm not as confident in South Carolina here to win the regular season title in the SEC is because they've got some really, really tough road trips coming up here in these last eight games. They have to travel to Auburn, who's tied atop of the SEC right now. They also have to go to Ole Miss, to Texas A&M, and to Mississippi State to finish out the year. But I will say this. If the Gamecocks continue to play consistent defense and find ways to win close games, both on the road and at home, this team very well could pull off their first regular season conference title in over 25 years. As for the NCAA tournament, I see this South Carolina team finishing somewhere as a three down to a five seed, obviously depending on how they finish out the regular season and how they do in the SEC conference tournament. Now, I also see this team as one that will probably get out of the first weekend if they continue to play the brand of basketball that they have been. However, this team is a little bit susceptible to a potential upset in the NCAA tournament because of the slow pace that they play. If a mid-major comes out and shoots the ball red hot from beyond the arc, the Gamecocks could potentially be in trouble. Now, I want to hear your thoughts on this South Carolina team please put them in the comments section below. Do you think this team is going to win the SEC for the first time in over 25 years? How far do you think they're going to go in the NCAA tournament? Do you think this team is legit or just a flash in the pan? Please put your comments down in the comments section below. I would love to hear your take on this Gamecock squad. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already and you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing down below to College Hoops Tonight. Thank you again for watching, and we will see you in the next one.